YouTube so today I'm here to film a little haul. I did not think I had enough to film a haul but I do which is a good and bad thing rolled all into one. But getting started the first thing I picked up is this spray bottle from Target. It's just by the Up and Up brand. Um, I like the way that they spray and if you watched my top five favorite uh, favorite Shea Moisture products you knew I was not happy with the packaging of one of them so I got an extra one to put that product in and so I'm excited to finally be able to bust this out and use it and I'm probably going to go dump that product into this bottle right after this video. So the next kind of like bottle item I got, I got two of these like condiment bottles if you know what I mean like you can put ketchup and mustard in here but I got them because I wanted to start doing more protein treatments on my hair and I like to make my own because I have used like eggs and stuff in the past to make protein treatments and I'll probably make a whole video about that but anyhow um it's really hard to like get on your hair like it's really hard to like evenly distribute it and I was watching a couple of videos and one of the girls used one of these like condiment bottles to do it and I was like that is a genius idea so I decided to go ahead and pick one up and then I got another one just to have just in case I wanted to do like a hot oil treatment or something like that so that way I don't have to like if I have extra oil I don't have to dump it out in order to do a protein treatment and if you hear anything in the background my roommate is cooking currently so I don't know if you can hear that or not it didn't show up but it might if something gets loud but the next thing I picked up is organic virgin coconut oil this is unrefined it is expellent expeller pressed instead of cold pressed but I, when i was doing my research i found out that there's not a huge huge difference in the process I and mean, there's a different process obviously but it's not like that huge of a difference as far as the actual coconut oil goes um they're both so really good for your hair and for you as a person but i used to use coconut all the time um coconut oil all the time and then it got cold and if you know coconut oil you know that it solidifies when it gets cold so I stopped using it during the winter and then I finally picked some more up and I'm very very happy to have this back in my regimen the next thing that I picked up this is kind of random but I picked up a pack of the Equate baby wipes um this is the soft and smooth this is the shea butter ones they're hypoallergenic and alcohol free and it says helps moisturize skin they don't really have a smell, they just smell like baby wipes, which I like. I don't really like ones that have fragrances. And I use these to take off my makeup as well for hygiene reasons. I am going to post a whole hygiene video, so I will explain that later in the video. But yeah, these were like a dollar eighty, I want to say. But you get 80 wipes, which for makeup wipes, even if I have to use two, if I have like eye makeup on, I still think it's a really good deal. And I still think it's a better deal than having to buy makeup wipes that are like five bucks a pack. So yeah, and I also like the Target up and up ones. They're the purple ones. I think they're like the sensitive skin ones. Those are really good too. The next thing I picked up is this St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub and it says clears blackheads and calms redness and it says it's oil free um, and it has salicylic acid medication and it's 100% natural exfoliant. I have yet to try this but I got it because my favorite scrub is the ap white tea and apricot one from Bath and Body Works. They used to have it. They only bring it back during semi-annual sale. It's by the True Blue Spa. So when semi-annual sale rolls around, go ahead and look for that one. That one's really, really good. But like I said, you can only get it twice a year if they bring it back. And so I'm looking for a scrub to like supplement instead of that one. And I heard that this one is really good. Um, from a couple youtubers that I watch and then it says that this exfoliation factor is on a scale from gentle to deep it's moderate which I tend to like like a more intense scrub because I don't use them every single day I use them like every couple days so yeah excited to have picked this one up okay the last couple products that I picked all are hair products but this set I got from Target is the sacred tr or tiara I don't know anti-breakage and anti-frizz for damaged fragile frizzy and unruly hair it says restore strength presents damage and soothe away frizz and it says proven to instantly stop shedding and frizz this was from target it's from carol's daughter if i don't i don't know if i mentioned that but it comes with a full size shampoo and conditioner and then the mini like two ounce size of the um spray leave-in conditioner and originally it was $24, but I got it on clearance for $20. So if you can go ahead and try and pick this up, 
I would definitely look into it if you haven't tried it because it's a pretty good deal considering the shampoo and conditioner are normally $12 by themselves. Um, so I saved $4 and I got a sample size of a travel um, of the leave-in spray, which I had been wanting to try this for a while. Um, I've tried them out once, but I'm not going to give my full opinion yet because I still want to try them out a couple more times and I haven't tried the leave-in really. But this was a really good deal and I decided to pick it up the other day when I saw they only had like three left. So the next three things that I picked up are all different oils. I got vitamin E oil um, and it looks like this. It's from Spring Valley. I got it from Walmart. I believe it was like two something, three something. And I got this to use for my protein treatments because one of the YouTubers that I watched was saying like a different mixture of oils to go with the egg and this was one of the oils she used. And I heard it's really good for your skin as well for your hair so I wanted to try it on my hair. The other oil I got is organic Moroccan argan oil and this is in a serum form so it has argan oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, and avocado oil. It's really really good for your hair and I decided to pick this up just because I was in the area and I always really wanted to try argan oil but every oil that I see isn't like it doesn't have like 100% argan oil and this one had 100% argan oil in it as well as like some other really good oils for your hair so I decided to pick this one up and then the last oil that I got is 100% pure Australian tea tree oil and this is really really good if you're gonna use tea tree oil make sure that you dilute it because it can kind of like irritate slash burn your skin if you don't um, I was using this to mix with another oil in order to do like scalp massages and I like the way tea tree oil smells so that was another thing it makes my hair smell really good at least I think it smells really good some people don't like the smell of tea tree oil but I personally do so I went ahead and picked this up it wasn't too expensive the most expensive out of all of those was the argan oil I think that one was like six or seven dollars and then the last two items that I got were this curls creme brulee whipped curl cream and then it says a curl defining and moisturizing cream formulated with certified organic sweet almond milk shea butter and Aloe leaf juice proven to fight frizz, restore sheen, and encourage hair growth. I got the travel size because the big size is kind of expensive and I didn't want to get the big size and then not like it because I have a bad habit of even if I don't like a product, I mean I've gotten better with returning stuff if I don't like it, but sometimes I feel like, I don't know, I, I try to make it work and I end up keeping products that I don't really like and so... I definitely was looking forward to trying this and I've been wanting to try it and then when I saw it in the little mini size I was like I have to go ahead and buy it because it was only like $3.50 or something like that. And then the other product I got from Curls is the Lavish Curl Moisturizer. It says second day curl refresher to reactivate and moisturize curls. I've never really heard anything about this and it's a really liquidy product. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a watery oil and I'm excited to try this it had really good ingredients and it looked like it would be good something good like to just rub through your hair especially um for like second day like if you're trying to just bun your hair but you want to add a little moisture to it and so I got this travel size because one I really haven't heard anything about it on YouTube to know if I would like it or not and two I didn't want to buy the whole thing and then not like it and I think the I want to say the big like the actual like big size comes with a spray nozzle but maybe I'm imagining that but either way I think I like it I might stick if my spray cap from one of my travel bottles fits on this I might spray stick that in there and see if it sprays on my hair really good but yeah that's all the products that I picked up and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys